Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to go through some of the settings that I have currently. This is my second Raptorium machine that I'm still running CPU miner on. We can see the hardware monitoring, the CPU usage is 100%. My core temperature, now this, this machine has been running for days and and on and on and on and of course right now it's always been averaging around between the 50 high 50s to almost 60 celsius on the the core cpu core temperature so today we're going to go into my bios and see what i have currently set up on this and i may need to make some changes because i think i may be coming off of uh, CPU miner so let's do that oops click the wrong thing I'm actually really excited to explore this video capture device that I have right now so that way I can bring you guys right into the bios as I'm recording on this this is amazing isn't it oh wow this is like brings back the 80s so the machine is rebooting I hit delete and I'm in the bios right now how cool is that and I'm still recording so let's go into my overclock settings to see what we have going on over here so I do have it at 42 so we're running at 4.2 gigahertz I think I had a problem where if I set this to 1 based on the 4.2 the machine kept on rebooting so we'll, we'll see if that's true or not let's let's test out that theory now i don't know exactly if this will affect my hash rate or not if i lower the voltage but this particular machine has been averaging 2.5 kilo hash based on the 1.2 voltage that, that i've been giving it now we'll test it with the 4.2 and i'll do a quick reset maybe you guys have tested other things i've been messing around with this pretty often and every time I make a change and it keeps on rebooting then I know to back off a little bit so let's see what happens here it's confirming that I'm downgrading my 1.2 volts down to 1 volt and I'm still keeping the 4.2 so let's see but I think once I run the CPU miner it'll, it may or may not crap out so let's let's test that theory right now so I was saying this is pretty cool the HDMI video capture card I plug the HDMI from the machine into a USB device which is that capture card and then I can actually record everything that I'm doing regardless if I'm in Windows or not so all right so first thing I'm gonna do is turn on the MSI dashboard so we can get the temperature reading as I'm launching the CPU miner all right so we have the current temperature is at 38 so obviously it cooled it has cooled down a lot since the reboot cooler master hyper 212 right now it's pretty idle there's nothing going on I'm going to launch the CPU miner and hit yes I will be converting this depending on if this works successfully or not I have been noticing that XM rig is performing better because my other rig is set on XM rig and it has been producing higher hash rates now these two machines are identical there is nothing different about them as far as I know CPU miner is running right now and I haven't experienced any uh, reboots temperature is at 48 which is good we're trying to keep it below 60 degrees celsius which we seem like we we are achieving that right now cpu has still not hit 100 yet so we'll wait a few more seconds to see how well that plays out my voltage is currently at one so you guys saw that this changed over to eu flock now i didn't change my secondary it's possible that i gotta look into that one could be the reason why it's so damn slow right now there it goes connection changed to raptorium emporium something happened now i was really bad that i didn't change my secondary over to raptorium emporium but the whole point is that raptorium emporium doesn't have a secondary server so if it went down i'm down entirely so that's why i kept the default secondary flock pool and it went out to the eu dot flock pool and that's what you saw being a, a network person i would refuse to set primary and a secondary server to one destination opposed to having an actual working secondary option me leaving it on a flock pool it, it is what it is because i don't want to waste my time let's just say raptorium emporium goes down for like five six hours my miner is running why would i just lose that five six six hours not doing anything where i can jump on the secondary pool of my choice and continue on gathering the raptorium so that's pretty much why i did what i did there i will probably not change that unless i change it to a secondary pool that i feel you know if i wanted to get off 
uh, flock pool. Let's go back and see the current temperature right now. It is running at 100% right now and the temperature is still at 46. It leads me to believe that 0.2 voltage is making that much of a decrease in the core temperature. Now the next thing I will have to do is monitor the actual hash rate but because this machine just started so fast I will have to give it some time so I'm gonna put this video on pause and we'll come right back to that alright guys so I let this run for a little longer now and the temperature right now running on a 1 volt 4.2 hertz is at 56 Celsius so it's not too bad it's under the 60 Celsius that I was trying to achieve checked out the hash rate on the Raptorium Emporium pool and so far this current machine this miner of mine the highest hash rate that i've seen running is at 3.0 so it's definitely hasn't affected the ability to do the higher hash rates even though it's 0.2 voltage a little lower i would need to run it a little longer just to get the average throughout the day but the fact that i've seen it go over 3.0 kilohash it proves to me that even though with the lower voltage is still able to push out that power to do that hash rate that high now if it was under voltage to a point where it couldn't produce that it obviously would not hit that high would it spike possibly but it wouldn't hold there so i was refreshing it i'm just going to continue monitoring it to see how far it goes now the scope of this video was to really just show you what my current setting is on my bios and how i'm overclocking this particular ryzen 9 5900x i want to thank you guys for being here and enjoying this and i'm so happy that i'm testing out this video capture card this hdmi video capture USB dongle pretty awesome I'm actually gonna probably do a video on its own actually just displaying how cool it is all right I want to thank you guys again for being here and I'll see you again soon bye